Welcome to the PADEP video tutorial series on non-community water system approvals. In this series of videos, we will review the various components and requirements of the new approval process for non-community water systems. This first video will provide an overview and general information. If you are supplying your own water or treating an existing public water system source and this water is used for public consumption, you are considered to be a public water system and it is necessary to work with the Department of Environmental Protection to ensure the safety of those you serve. A public water system is defined as a system which provides water to the public for human consumption, which has at least 15 service connections or regularly serves an average of at least 25 individuals daily at least 60 days out of the year. Water for human consumption includes water that is used for drinking, bathing and showering, cooking, dishwashing, or maintaining oral hygiene. You may need to obtain either a permit or non-community water system approval depending on your system. Public water systems include both community and non-community water systems. Everyone is familiar with community water systems as they serve people at their primary residences each year. Community water systems can serve municipalities, subdivisions, or mobile home parks, for example. Community water systems are required to go through an approval process that involves submitting a public water supply permit application. Please follow the link below for more information on the community water system approval process. Many people are not as familiar with non-community water systems. Non-community water systems include both transient and non-transient systems. Transient non-community water systems serve people at least 60 days out of the year, but not necessarily the same people or on a regular basis. The population served is considered transient because they are only there for a short period of time. Examples may include gas stations, resorts, campgrounds, motels, and restaurants. Non-transient non-community water systems serve at least 25 of the same people for at least six months out of the year. The population is considered non-transient because it is the same people who are there for an extended period of time. Examples may include schools, businesses, factories, office buildings, and hospitals. The non-community water system application is required for new or modified non-community water systems, both transient and non-transient, that have groundwater sources and require treatment no greater than ultraviolet light or hypochlorite disinfection to meet all primary MCLs. Applicants should allow at least 60 business days from the department's acceptance of an administratively complete application prior to planned construction or modification. The non-community water system approval is replacing the brief description form that was previously used for modifications or construction of a non-community water system. The non-community water system approval is designed to provide the necessary information about the proposed modifications or construction. The non-community water system application package includes the application and six different modules. The applicant only needs to complete and submit those modules that are applicable to the project. Sources and treatments which were previously approved with the BDF process do not require modules. For example, the application itself must be submitted with every package and should be accompanied by relevant modules. The six different modules include Module 1, Groundwater Source, Module 2, Treatment, Module 3, Chemical Feed Systems Handling and Storage, Module 4, Pumping Equipment, Module 5, Water Storage, and Module 6, Distribution Systems. The transfer application is a standalone document with its own instructions and can be submitted without the application. In this series of tutorials, we will show you how to properly complete a non-community water system application and the six modules. Up next in the series is Tutorial 2, which will cover the non-community water system application and instructions.